The Life and Sad Ending of Edgar Buchanan William Edgar Buchanan II was born March 20th, 1903, in Humansville, Missouri, the son of Dr. and Mrs. William Edgar Buchanan. He moved with his family to Oregon when he was seven. Buchanan's interest in acting developed during his college years. Apparently, his grades in college were terrible. And in a desperate attempt to improve his average score, Buchanan signed up for a relatively easy course on play interpretation. Having studied a couple of Shakespearean recitations, he nurtured his newfound interest. In 1928, he earned a DDS degree from North Pacific College School for Dentistry, which later became Oregon Health and Science University School of Dentistry. His wife, Mildred, and he, classmates in dental school, were married in 1928, the year he graduated. They had one child, a son named Buck. In 1939, they moved from Eugene, Oregon, to Altadena, California, where they relocated their dental practice. Buchanan stepped into his acting career in his late 30s. He appeared for a screen test for Warner Brothers in 1940. Though he initially played minor roles, he soon started bagging projects that allowed him to explore his talents as an actor. He was particularly fond of playing older men in villainous characters. Between 1940 and 1950, he acted in movies such as Texas, Penny Serenade, The Talk of the Town, The Man from Colorado, and Cheaper by the Dozen. Buchanan had a record of having worked with all the major production houses of his time. While his career as an actor was starting to be successful, Buchanan still held his dentistry license, despite having handed over his practice to his wife by the 50s. While movies were his primary interest, he was also intrinsically associated with American TV shows. In 1956, he landed his first leading role in the Western TV show named Judge Roy Bean. He was also part of the regular cast of the popular shows such as Hop Along Cassidy, and Cade's Country. Buchanan made a host of guest appearances before earning bigger roles. Some of his noteworthy guest roles were for Cimarron City, The Californians, The Rifleman, Leave It to Beaver, The Twilight Zone, Gunsmoke, and Route 66. In 1963, Edgar Buchanan became an internationally famous actor. His stairway to fame was paved by his portrayal of Uncle Joe Carson in Petticoat Junction. He appeared in all of the 222 episodes of the show and was the only character to be present in every episode. Petticoat Junction, which aired from 1963 to 1970, was the biggest success of Buchanan's career. His fan base grew exponentially as people welcomed the lazy and adorable freeloader Uncle Joe into their drawing rooms. Not only did the character appear in every single of the 222 episodes of the show, but he also appeared in crossover episodes of two more series. Thus, Uncle Joe appeared in 17 crossover episodes of Green Acres and three crossover episodes of The Beverly Hillbillies. In 1974, Buchanan starred in the movie Benji. Some of his noteworthy TV appearances include his guest roles in Green Acres and The Beverly Hillbillies. Next, he contributed to the soundtracks of Petticoat Junction, Bonanza, The Over the Hill Gang, and many other projects. In April of 1979, Buchanan had a stroke. His condition was worsened by pneumonia, and sadly, he passed away on April 4, 1979, in Palm Desert, California. He was buried in the Forest Lawn Hollywood Hills Cemetery in Los Angeles. He was 76 years old.